Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Tim Shibasan with the Fun Bros and Nelson Chan from Hoopin' Life. What's up? And today, I'm starting my new segment called Talk It Out. In this segment, it's talking about relationships gearing more toward the first date. All right, first question is, how should people dress on their first date? Okay, right, I mean, it, re with... it really depends. You know, it depends on the person you are or the kind of girl you're trying to impress, you know, you can go with, you know, an urban look, you can go for a preppy look, or it depends on the occasion too, like where you're having dinner at, or, you know, where you're trying to eat. Yeah. Just go into like a high, high class fancy dinner, or, you know, lunch or whatever. You might want to dress up your, you know, your right, so, game or something. So what, what's some things that they shouldn't do? All right, I don't wear basketball shorts. <laughs> Yeah, don't wear shorts in or general. Or sweats or tech fleece or anything. I would just wear like a good outfit that you have. Yeah. Like a nice outfit that you think yeah. is cool looking. Yeah. And I think um, it, it should also be like fresh. It shouldn't be like something that you wore the day before and be like, hey, this looks nice. Like it has to be kind of like, maybe like you washed it so it doesn't stink. And I think definitely one thing that you guys gotta keep in mind is you gotta look approachable. Can't go wrong dressing up nicer. Yeah. Yeah. Even if you do like urban club, I mean, I like, you know, we wear babe hoodies, we like Jordans, but yeah. would I wear those on a first date? Maybe, yeah. but probably, probably not. not. Yeah. I, yeah. I would say a pea coat is right. a great way to go. No, just, Obviously, it depends on what age you are, because uh, when you're young, you pretty much can just wear anything and it's yeah. all good. I mean, honestly, if she's into like streetwear or a certain type of clothing, whether it's like anime shirts or, or you know, very <laughs> Asian style, like just dress, you know, like how Please she oh, wants you to dress. What, what, about, what about graphic tees? No. Uh, no. Too loud. Not, too unless loud. You, not unless you guys' first date is at Comic-Con. Yeah. yeah. All right, so that brings us to our second segment, plan accordingly. So how do you plan your date? Stay away from movies. Yeah, yeah no, no movies. Movies. Yeah. movies is the worst. And First then, date, anything. Yeah, movies, because you know what? You're watching a movie, there's all these different people on screen. You don't you get don't to interact talk, with them. Yeah. But, but let's say you, there's like really good looking people on screen. You don't want her to look over at you and then look at the big, you know, <laughs> Ryan Gosling on the screen. Oh and my God, Ryan Gosling. Yeah, you don't, yeah, don't do that to yourself, man. No, but you, you definitely want to go take her to a place where you can shine. Right? Yeah. I mean, or, well, it's about maybe not you. It's not about you shining, but it's about you guys focusing on each other. Right. Yeah. Like, that's why at dinner, you sit across from each other so that you guys can stare at each other in the face. I definitely would stay away from places where she's going to know a bunch of people or you're going to know a bunch of people because it's going to break the flow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want places where you guys can focus on each other. So, you know, maybe there's a cool spot that maybe that's not your usual spot and you know that she doesn't go there a lot, you guys can go there because then you guys can be, you know, enjoy each other's company. And then not only that, everybody's gonna call you out. Hey, you guys on a date? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And, and, and I, would, I was gonna say, maybe stay away from a spot where you know like the owner even, on the first date, because oh. then the owner's gonna come around and like, you're gonna Is have this to talk your to new the owner. Yeah. Oh, what about the other girl you brought in last week? Ah. Like, uh, yeah. Oh. And you know what, another thing that's, that's cool is if you like, you can like ask her what she's into and stuff like that and then kind of like plan the date accordingly. Like, My point in case is get to know the girl just a little bit first before yeah. you plan your date. Okay? Yeah. You know, get to know her interests, you know, get to know what she likes and then plan accordingly. Yeah. Well, you want to plan like two or three spots, like some spots in the area. You don't want, you want to like phase shift and stuff. When you take someone to multiple places like or like change the surrounding a lot. So even if you're in like a bar or something, you could take her around the bar and it's gonna feel like you've done a lot more. I will put it like this. It's about experiencing as much with each other as you can. So that means different settings and seeing how each other operates and what they like yeah, in yeah, each yeah, setting. Yeah. If you only have one date and usually on a first date, you have to make an impression to even get a second date. Yeah, then yeah for sure. I would show a variety of things. I wouldn't just sit in one spot the whole day, don't even move a muscle, and then be like, hey, you want a couple more of these? <laughs> yeah. No, you you wanted to, the date to feel like an adventure. Like, yeah. you, man, you, you've gone on an adventure with this girl, and it was fun, and then that's how, why you can go on the second one. So next topic is actually topics. So what are some good topics for these guys to like bring up during the date? All right, well, obviously it depends because everybody's different. They're into different things, so yeah. you want to ask about that. Thing, I can I can think of some topics that you want to stay away from. Okay, let's, okay. What, what's some topics that you stay away from? All the Sex. <laughs> okay. okay, definitely do not diss her friends. Yeah. Uh, do oh. not diss things that she values in her life above you. A topic I would say to stay away from is to 
not talk about yourself the whole time. You don't want to be like I, 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 I. You want to, yeah. you don't want to make it you because you want to talk about her. You want, you want to get to know her, and you're not trying to tell, talk about yourself. That's not, that's very unattractive. You can do it like a little bit. Like she said something about like art or something. And be like, oh yeah, I'm an artist too, and you say it like a, l a little bit of it, and then you bring it back to her. You want to be a good listener, but don't just listen. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you want to ask questions. You know, yeah, you, yeah. Gotta, you gotta balance out the questions between the answers. And she's gotta get to know, and she's really gotta get to know you two as well. So right. you also yeah. wanna throw in things, but then, like you said, throw it back to her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. What about you? <laughs> what do you think? And instead of be like, <laughs> I, 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 I. So I went online and I found a couple of questions that they said like, what's a bit your biggest goal in life? So talk about their aspirations. It kinda shows that you're about something deeper in your life too, other than right. just like partying and all these superficial things. Yeah, you could also turn it on yourself, nudge it in and be like, yeah, I'm super passionate about this. And then that shows that her that you're really passionate about something. Yeah. Like girls like passionate dudes. So another way is, what's your favorite way to spend a Saturday? I like this thing. What kind of things really make you laugh? Like, what's your sense of humor? You right, know, like right, what right. type of comedy do you like? I feel like that's like, a good one because it's lighthearted, yeah. but you can learn a lot about somebody from that answer. It's like how to make you learn how to make them happy and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And you know, I think sometimes when uh, you're a guy who likes to ask a lot of questions, some girls are gonna be like, "Oh, uh, I feel like I'm getting interviewed right now." That's not necessarily the worst response because, to be honest, like you are just trying to ask the right questions and get to know them. I've been told that before. Like the girl was kind of like, "Haha, you're asking me so many questions," and I was like, "I don't know. I'm just really trying to get to know you." But uh, I don't know, people like getting interviewed, you know? People, because a lot of people, they never get interviewed in their life for any reason, right? <laughs> right. To be yeah. honest, so when you're asking them deep or interesting questions about themselves, you know, as much as they think like that's kind of an abnormal thing, it's still really a cool experience for them. Yeah, and also general first date etiquette, pay the entire bill. Yes. yes. I don't yes. care. Yes. Just pay it. I don't care if it's going well, if it's going bad. Yeah. Just pay the bill. Yeah. Bill. You pay the bigger bill if it's dinner. Maybe if she wants, if she really insists, she can, she can get like dessert. Yep. Or like yeah. Like oh, yeah. yeah. That's okay. But do not go Dutch for dinner. I, I would right. say if she pays for half the bill and she insists on it, it probably didn't go well. <laughs> right, right, right. No, trust me. I always do this all the time. This was not a date at all. Yeah, let me get my hat. Wait, it was wait. nice being friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, that it's was nice great. to be your friend. That was great. I'll pay my half. But and I would definitely say share food if you can. Like not not 50 50, but maybe 10 percent of yours, 10 percent yeah. of hers. It's not. It's so <laughs> sad when I seen couples. And I don't know if the couples are on a date or whatever, but they just got their big ass plate of their own like whatever it is, and they're just eating, just, yeah. And then they're just like face. There's no connection. No, no, Let no, the food no. be the bridge. If you see a couple out. And they're at a restaurant, uh -huh. and they both ordered the same oh, meal. No, no, that no. will not work. That's not a good omen yeah. for the future. That drives me crazy <laughs> to even see that. You don't gotta share the same spoon, but just share the same. You know, there's sharing plates. There's sharing, sharing is caring. Final topic is things to look for in your date. Like good signs. Like good signs. Okay. Some good signs in the date. That sharing a big laugh together. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah. One thing for me is the vibe. If if you feel like the vibe isn't right, like you can like even cut the date off. That that's something that you don't want to have in like a future relationship. So just if the vibe's just not right, just cut it. Like there's more fish in the sea. I mean, I tell you one thing that I wouldn't want to see. Uh, I don't think anyone would want to see if you're on a date with a girl and you're having dinner with her and she's paying more attention to her phone than instead of yeah. you. Yeah. Oh. If she's paying more attention to her phone, then you just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would say if you're if you're on your first date, try to you know stay away from your phone as much as you can mm -hmm. and hope that she does the same thing. You know, yeah. just yeah, to show yeah, that yeah, you guys yeah. have a common interest in each other rather than you know always like texting each other going on. Oh. It is rude, and if you do need to look at your phone, you should acknowledge that you're looking at your phone. Yeah, right. I'm phone. sorry, real quick, I just gotta check my phone. And then you do it real quickly, and then that's it. Do not just yeah. all of a sudden do 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 do. Uh, I actually looked this, up, this topic up on the internet, and I found these things. Good manners, mutual interest, respect, have fun, passion, uh, talk about your values, and buy. Yeah! All right, thank you so much for watching this video on the first segment of Talk It Out. And man, it was so much fun delving into the first 
the first date topics. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys had fun watching it and you guys learned as much as as uh, as I did. Because actually, I didn't know some of the, uh, like you guys had those opinions. One, two, three. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, peace out. Thanks for watching.